Hey guys, we need the right samples. Dude, go for it. Wait for the cue. EML Recordings. Welcome to a very special edition of the EML Recordings podcast. I am your host, DJ Electromagnetic, and over the next 90 minutes, I'm going to be taking you guys through some brand new releases that we've got forthcoming through all three record labels. And most of these guys that you're going to listen to are brand new artists, and I cannot wait to share this music with you. I've got some incredible releases for you guys to enjoy. This is a celebration of 15 years of EML recordings and I'm telling you guys what we have only just started we haven't scratched the surface you just wait and see what's coming get yourself comfortable turn the volume up and enjoy this amazing music that I have to share with you all from some incredibly gifted talented artists producers vocalists DJs the whole shabam Trust me, guys, EML recordings, we're back. Oh, my, I need a minute. She's looking nice. She likes to feel the music rock her backside. Turn up just a little bit of. This right. She likes to feel the music rock her backside EML recording And there you have it. That was A Reason by Guru Le Groove, a brand new sign-in to EML Recordings. And that is out on the 15th of July. Now, Guru Le Groove has a wealth of experience in the music industry. He's known, he's led by Mike the Money Laverne. And um, Mike was previously part of uh, Magia or Magia Records in Mexico. He's, he's got a wealth of experience in the music industry, knows his stuff. He knows how to market music as well. He's, he's a smart guy and I can learn a lot from him. And I'm really, really grateful that he's decided to sign that track 
two email recordings and I'm also very grateful to Label Radar which is where I found quite a lot of these artists that I've recently signed up not all but you know a fair few because it's a brilliant site really really well designed I don't think I'm ever going to need to use another site to find artists it's so user friendly and it's free as well for record labels brilliant so um you know head off over to labelradar.com and have a look guys um you know, some big labels on there as well um including us so yeah if you're a producer by the way you're listening to this and you you know you want to get your music into my ears then head over to label radar and, and find email recordings on there and just uh, send me a demo i'm always happy to listen brilliant track what a great way to start the podcast i mean that is just that's just a class tune isn't it i mean the mastering is absolutely exquisite the vocals everything about that track is just great i'm so excited to have it um as part of you know this record labels um roster um so i say it's called a reason it's out on the 15th of july we've also got a music video to accompany that so if you uh, if you're a youtube bod get yourself over to youtube after this podcast search eml recordings and you'll find a nice music visualizer to go along with that absolutely brilliant michael really really glad to have you on board this record label and i cannot wait to see how that's going to perform i mean this guy's got what half a million plays on spotify if you add his top five that's just his top five yeah he knows what he's doing
And so, as I said at the, at the beginning of this podcast, we are unleashing incredible music into the scene. We really are. I mean, we've upped our game. That was Oxygen by Everything's Thought Of. Um, and Brad is the guy behind Everything's Thought Of. What a fantastic tune. It's actually not too dissimilar to um, the Gorilla Groove track that we started off with in that it's it's that club kind of vibe and it's got that housey kind of club vibe with it. So you've got the really groovy bass lines, fantastic synth work. Again, stunning vocal work as well on this one. Um, it's interesting how I met um, Brad. Uh, I actually met him, we were watching um, Al Jazeera uh, news channel and I guess he must have kind of looked at the, the name because my username's obviously EML Recording so he kind of said to me that he's a producer and I said oh yeah fire me something over um, and he did. It took me ages to get back in touch with him because I wasn't really, um, well I had a lot going on but I did and I'm really really glad, I'm really glad. That I made contact with Bradley um, because, oh man, some of the tunes that he's put in our way are just incredible. Um, we've already re- had a release with him earlier this year. Uh, Our love is a sadness. That's available now. Um, if you want to go and check that out, um, then get yourself over to emlrecordings.co.co or eml dash recordings.com whichever uh, they go to the same place or you can even go to emlrecordings.org and that will take you through to the same place so yeah we've, we're kind of slowly buying up all of the, <laughs> the um, urls to make sure no one else takes them um and we've got more tunes lined up from brad as well um coming out later this year so that one oxygen you just heard um that one is being released on the 24th of may so just under a month to go before that one comes out again i've got a really nice video that i've done for that so um, go and find us over on youtube my handle is simply eml recordings and uh, we've got really really funky music visualizer to go along with that um yeah like i say you know i'm just so impressed with the quality of music that i'm getting um And what I'm really pleased about as well is we've got vocalists on board. Brad himself is an outstanding uh, vocalist, really, really strong vocal talent. And it's just a step up from where we were because EML was always putting uh, instrumental stuff out. We didn't have that many tracks back in the day where we had vocals. The ones that we did, you know, did really well. I mean, every single track that I'm playing in this podcast is incredible that's just better than anything else that's out there you know and that's the thing with this labels we need to reach more ears so please share this podcast like it subscribe whatever just find us just go to emlrecordings.co and all of my social links are on there just follow us do do everybody on this label a favor if you're one of the artists that's being played go and support the other artists go and support the label as a whole follow subscribe like just find me everywhere share this podcast let's just get this music out to the audience that it deserves to reach because the music is exquisite and all of these producers i don't sign anyone on this label that's got an attitude I don't care how good the music. Every single one of these guys is a, is a is a good person, good person with good energy, and and that's what makes this a family. We are a family. Right. I'm gonna play the next tune. I'm gonna slowly kind of increase the energy and the tempo levels as we go along, and then we're gonna kind of end up on some really frantic stuff. Um, in fact, the last track uh, on the podcast will be by me. Right. Let's go. Next tune.
just like that so that track that you just heard was binary dreams by wes h um wes h has been on the record label for many many years and i'm sure will be on the record label for many many more years to come um so that one is out on eml recordings on the 20th of june um those that have you know listened to this podcast uh, many, many times over the years, and those that have been following the label for a long time will know that Wes, as I said, has been with us for a long, long time. Um, go and check out his radio show as well, This Is Public. That's on Fridays, every Friday, 6 till 8 on his local radio, FM. And uh, he plays some really banging tunes, and he's a fantastic DJ as well. So, you know, if you're stuck for something to do on a Friday night between 6 and 8, uh, go and check out Wes H., this is public. Um, Where's his chains are just getting better every time he sends me a track. It's just a little bit better than the last one, and um, he's on a uh, he's just a constant upward trajectory, and and I know we've got more stuff coming from him as well. So stay tuned for that. So that was Wes H, Binary Pulse, out on EML on the twentieth of June. And so we now switch over to Lazy Records, and uh, we're gonna going a little bit more frantic this time around so we've got some really banging kind of minimal acid techno for you courtesy of another new signing and i'll tell you all about the artist after the track
Okay, so the track that you just heard was by Dead and Side. It's called P Tech and it's out through Lazy Records on the 27th of July. Dead and Side is another new signing to these uh, three labels. And um, really, really happy to get some nice kind of acid techno in amongst the release schedule. It's, uh, I don't think I've really had any decent techno like that before to release through EML. We've got another one as well coming out later in, uh, when is it? Let's have a look. We've got another one coming out from Dead Inside in August as well. Oh, it's going to be a really, really busy summer. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice style of techno. It's a kind of music that, you know, if that was dropped in a nightclub, you just kind of close your eyes to it, don't you? And it just, you let the music control your body. <laughs> let the music control your body. Um, sorry, I'm going off on one. Um but yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that I would I close my eyes and that I'd just let the music guide me. And um, I love music that takes you on a journey. You know, I've always said that all you know from day one. Uh, that's what music should be about, in my opinion. It should take you somewhere. So it definitely does that. So yeah, well done. Really, really excited to get that one out. And it's going to be really nice to watch Lazy Records start to grow. And um, yeah, just watch this space really because as I say, we got a lot of stuff coming out from Lazy Records, uh, myself and Nelson and Dead Inside, and I'm sure there'll be more to join as well as time goes on. When it seems like you are drowning And it feels like you can't breathe But it will be your
Oh, it's just brilliant. Uh, another new signing to uh, this ever-growing um, army of producers on this record label. Uh, Alima and Josephia, that was who you've just listened to. The track is called My Heart, being released on the 3rd of July through EML. Um Again, these are artists that I kind of came into contact with partly through TikTok um, and I think partly through Label Radar as well, or maybe wrong about that. Um, I've signed so many artists from Label Radar, I forget who I have and who I haven't. Um, <laughs> but it sits right in the heart of, of what EML is all about. It's it's that kind of easy to listen to trance music and the female vocals on that are stunning what a voice she's got it's brilliant um really does just lift one that kicks in the vocals really kind of lift that track up and then kind of propel it forwards um and as i say it sits just just nicely in the middle of everything that eml puts out it's not too hard it's not too slow it's like the goldilocks zone <laughs> um really enjoying working with arthur as well um it's a big supporter of all of the artists on the labels forever you know sharing um posts and commenting and, and telling everyone how great their tunes are and that's what it's all about this is what we want people on the label that are like this that are supportive of other people um and it's great it's great to see um and chris by the way if you're listening as well maybe you're listening to this whilst you're out on a run that would be so cool if you was let me know um but chris is um Somebody I've kind of met, I think, through um, Alima and Joseph here, potentially, I don't know, um, but on TikTok. Um, and again, he's another huge, huge supporter of everything that we're doing. He's like dug so deep into the back catalogue of EML releases. And it's great when I see a, a new post from Chris. He's just discovered another hidden gem amongst the back catalogue of releases. Um, and it just warms my heart, brings a really big smile to my face when I can see that he's just found another hidden gem. Um, and he's finding all the really good stuff as well. So, um, you know, if you're a DJ listening to this, you don't know anything about EML, you know, following chris's uh, footsteps go get on to eml recordings dot uh, sorry get to, to eml recordings dot co um or eml recordings dot org or eml dash recordings dot com whichever you prefer they all go to the same place um <clears throat> You'll find a link to our beat port and everything else on there, and you can just go and explore. There's so much, so much for you guys to to enjoy. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that one it was called My Heart. It was by Alima and Josephia, and it's out on the third of July through EML Recordings. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Oh, wow. Well, I hope you guys are as excited as I am about that one. Wow, what a tune. Um, that is by another new signing to EML Recordings, Julia Eliza. The track is called Inevitable, and that one is out on the 12th of August. Um, oh, yeah, that's right up my street. Um, just pure uplifting it's just again it's another one isn't it it's a close your eyes and let the music move your body just let the music take you um i guess a lot of people listening to this are going to be quite new to the record label but if um you're not <laughs> and you've been around for a long time you'll know that i just love music that takes me somewhere i, I feel that music should do that and it should ha- it should invoke an emotion um or spark a memory or create a feeling and every single track that i sign does that i don't sign anything that doesn't do that for me um it might be that it does it for somebody else but then you know that it's just it's not me <laughs> so um yeah every track that you'll hear from all of the three record labels will take you somewhere, you know, and and that's that's what music should do, in my opinion, anyway, or at least it it does. Oh, anyway, don't get me started, <laughs> or don't get myself started, anyway. I don't know. I'll stop going off on one. Um, but it's a great tune. I'm I'm really 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 excited about that. So that's um Julia Eliza. It's the track is called Inevitable. It's out on the twelfth of August uh, through EML Recordings, and uh, I know it's going to do well. Okay, so we've had a Lazy Records release. We've had a load of EML releases, and now we're going to switch around into the Sub Generation Records zone. Yes, Sub Generation Records. For those of you that don't know, is my dubstep, drum and bass, and breakbeat record label now if you're not into that style of music just bear with it just keep listening because we might just turn you into a drum and bass a breakbeat and a dubstep fan because our releases are quality and i have got some absolutely brilliant music to share with you we're going to kick things off by playing a forthcoming drum and bass track i'll tell you who it's by and when it's out after this
There you go. You see, I told you by the end of this podcast, I'm going to turn you all into a drum and bass, dubstep and breakbeat convert. Uh, watching. Really, really love it. Uh, the track that you just heard is by Dub Phobia. He has been on the label for a long time, almost as long as Wes. And um, the track was called The Wild. And it's being released on the 19th of June. I've done a really cool professional looking video to accompany that track as well and that's up on youtube at the moment uh so that's being released as uh through sub generation records uh dub phobia the wild 19th of june it's going straight on to amazing radio um in the next couple of days i'm going to upload it because i know they are going to love it it's already had airplay on bbc radio bbc introducing and it's been doing the rounds on uh, Instagram as well and uh, and TikTok. It's got a lot of um, interest in Dubphobia's tunes at the moment, and rightly so. I've also sent that to Music Gateway uh, with a view to pushing it out to uh, TV, the TV producers. Um, so you never know, you might end up hearing that one on a TV advert in the not too distant future. We shall see. But what a tune. I love it. I love Dubphobia's music. It's getting better and better and better and better all the time. And that one, you know, it's not what you'd expect from a drum and bass track, really. It's got that kind of uplifting feel to it, that euphoric kind of feel that you would get from a trance track but it's got the classic kind of rolling squelchy bass lines and an absolutely energetic frantic drum pattern brilliant stuff dub phobia and there's loads more coming from him um really really excited
Alrighty, so we switched it up into a bit of breakbeat for you. That one was by Club Sonica. The track is called Skeletons. It's already available. It's out through Subgeneration Records. It's a back catalogue track, and they've kindly allowed me to continue to sell that release. Also their track uh, Orchestro and um, Summer Breeze as well. Um, what I really loved about Club Sonica is that Yes, you've got the raw elements of breakbeat in there. You've got the really hard-hitting kind of snare drums, the punchy kick drums. But they again, there's these kind of elements of uplifting trance synth work, you know, interwoven within that. And that's what I love about their style of breakbeat. Um, I, I guess, really, I just like uplifting music. I love elements of trance in other genres. Um, so you had that with the drum and bass track by um, Dubphobia and you've also got those kind of elements within that track as well. Um, they did a collaboration oddly enough with um, Illuminati as well. Uh, the Psytrance stuff that uh, Club Sonica do, what they call themselves Cyber Cyberboy 313 and oh man they, they are geniuses you know it's not easy to be as talented as making breakbeat as they are and also be as talented as ma at making Psytrance as well. The good news is, for all of you that have been following this label for a long time um, and that know Illuminati, uh, I got back in touch with them last week and um, they're going to put some more stuff out through us. Um, although they're no longer called Illuminati, they've kind of split. Um, but I can't wait. Their Psytrance is exquisite absolutely exquisite um and i'm going to get in touch with roby or robbie sorry as well uh, next week and see if he can kind of come back too because i've been told um that robbie is putting out insanely brilliant music psytrance and um for those of you again that know me and have known me for a long time um you'll know i, I love psytrance i just can't get enough of psytrance and um yeah, so what I'm going to play you now is another back catalogue release and we're going to go into the Psytrance zone and I'm going to play you a track that again is already released and it's one is by Illuminati. I'll tell you what the name of the track is after the tune has played. Get ready for this. This is full on. Get your dancing shoes on for this one.
Oh, just beautiful. I absolutely love Illuminati. I could listen to their tunes all day long. Uh, the track that you just heard was called Cosmic Vibration, and it's on their six-track EP called Theory of the Universe. Still available um, all over the place. Just uh, Google it. We've also got a video on our YouTube channel, EML Recordings, and that's a mini mix of all six tracks from that EP, and uh, it's well worth the investment. Just, just brilliant. Really, really good. Absolutely love Illuminati. Um, Illuminati are from Mexico. It's a duo. Um, so in fact, I think there's three of them, but they're no more. They've kind of split to do their own thing, which is fine. Um, they're still oh, just brilliant, brilliant artists. Um, so as I say, one more time, uh, Cosmic Vibration uh, by Illuminati on their Theory of the Universe EP. How uh, talented and gifted do you have to be to be a Psytrance producer? It's like an unwritten rule, isn't it? There's no, there's hardly any Psytrance tracks that are less than six minutes long. You know, most of them are kind of between six and eight minutes or sometimes even longer. And they're so intricate. Uh, side tr- I'm so jealous. I'd love to be able to write a side trance track, but I just don't think I've got the skill sets or the patience either to just get into a track the way that side trance producers do. They're so gifted because there's so many things going on, so many effects that you have to apply, and the the, the drum patterns are really intricate. The synths, everything. Um, and I just love um, those kind of ARP bass lines that just oh. I love Psytrance, sorry guys, <laughs> I just love Psytrance, um, so yeah, there we go, absolutely brilliant, no, I just love it, um, so we are, we've got about another 20 or so minutes left of the podcast, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to really kind of up the tempo, we've got one more back catalogue track that I'm going to play you, so we're up in the pace, up in the tempo, we're going to go into a more kind of hard trance techno zone and then we're going to finish with a full on kind of hard dance uh, hard style gabber track to end the show Um, don't forget that this is part one of two uh, podcasts that I'm going to be putting out over the next uh, month or so um, the next uh, podcast is going to feature the rest of the new artists that have signed up to the label and releases that will be coming out in July and August um, and further out. Um, so stay tuned for that one. We've got uh, tracks by Nelson, MZK. We're going to have tracks by Ascent, uh, Distant Soul, MLR, got a one by Roddy, Shroominoids, uh, Demendless and Swarov as well. Um, so plenty to look forward to and simon tp too um so yeah absolute tons coming in that podcast so this is just kind of wet your appetite part one of part two uh, i'm just going to play the next two tracks out so back to back i'm not going to mix them uh, but back to back tune no talking in between and then i'll kind of wrap the show up at the end so uh, enjoy this enjoy these next two tunes they are full on they are fast they are frantic uh, you have been warned
have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. You know, the air is unfit to breathe, and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. EML recording. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. 
don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime and the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has been. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! Yeah, bit of an abrupt ending on that one, isn't it? Maybe I need to go and do a little bit more work on the ending on that track. Uh, but it's a track by me, Electromagnetic Impulses. The tune is called Get Mad. Um, full on, frantic, in your face, hardstyle gabber. And um, haven't set a release date for that one just yet, but it will most likely be sometime sometime in the winter of 2024. So quite some time to go until I decide to... Uh, unleash that one so stay tuned um but yeah the vocal um insert is from the network if you're not familiar with that way back from the 70s mid 70s i think it was um but it's quite interesting that what the guy was saying in that is really relevant like now um, and people were feeling that way you know way back then and people are still feeling like that 50 years later even more so i mean the world how small has the world got now uh, you know with instant communication all over the planet everybody kind of glued to their mobile phones um i saw a tiktok video the other day from a a nightclub um and the dj was spinning some really banging tunes and then he kind of panned around to the crowd and nobody was even dancing. Everybody was just standing there with their phones in their hand. And it's like, what has happened? You know, what has happened to the younger generation? Um, I mean, and I guess it's the style of music, isn't it? I mean, you go to a side trance or a drum and bass or kind of dubstep uh, rave now. I don't, I don't think you can call them raves anymore. But, you know, I mean... Um, and people are giving it large that they are having a good time. They are dancing. Same with trance music as well. I just think it's the style of music, isn't it? Certain genre of music seems to attract people that literally just seem to want to stand there and hold their phone in the air all night long. <laughs> so what's the point? But there we go. Maybe I'm just getting old. Okay, and the the track that you heard before mine was by Virus, V-I-R-U-S-S, and the track was called Journey, and that formed part of his four-track EP that we put out a long time ago. Um, Virus Music, since signing with EML, has actually gone on to do pretty big things. Um, he's really well respected now and well known in the hard trance and kind of hard house scene. Um, if you want to get a little bit more of a flavour of the whole EP, um, then you can get yourself over to Beatport, iTunes, Amazon, you know, we're, we're all of the normal places where you'd expect to find uh, tunage. Um, and you'll find it on there. Uh, fantastic EP, really, really is. And I'll be sending a couple of his tracks, actually, to um, our Hard House and Hard Trance DJ with quite a big following on TikTok uh, this week coming. And, uh, yeah, it'll be really, really cool if he, you know, spins some of Virus's tunes. And um, for sure, you can... You know I'll be getting some music visualizers done up for that one as well. Absolutely banging. Love it. Right up my street, that is. So that was uh, Virus Music, and the track was called The Journey. Um, but anyway, yeah, so guys, look, if you've managed to listen to all this way, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed uh, the music that was on offer. Hey, we've just got started. There's so much more to come. That's why I'm having to do this in two podcasts. Um Oh man, we've literally we're just at the beginning, really, of um, of rediscovering EML. And I know from having spoke to a lot of people, there is a real desire amongst a lot of people to kind of get 
Shadows 90s type feeling, mid 90s back. And I don't know about you guys that are listening, um, but I can see it. I can see it in, and I can hear it in other people's music, and it, and I really like it. It makes me excited um, that the kind of vibes and the ethos from back then has suddenly started to come back into the fore um, and long may it continue and I I really do hope and believe that EML has been a part of that process as too um, because we've always kind of stuck true to um, you know our ethos um, which is essentially uh, as the giants fall we rise and um, yeah and I will always stick to that mantra. Um, so if you liked what you heard on this, please, you know, follow, share, like, let your friends know about it, share it on your own socials. Um, there's so much more to come, as I said. I don't want to kind of keep repeating myself, but <laughs> I am. Um, don't forget to get yourself over to emlrecordings.co. Uh, follow our social links on the website there. Um, and, you know, come and say hi uh, to me. Um, and let me know in the comments um how you found the show did you like it you know what could i do better for the next one what didn't you like about it what was your favorite track what was your least favorite track um don't forget to go and show us some love to the artists that i've played as well go and find them subscribe to them say hi to them they're all really top-notch nice lovely people um and i think that's where we'll leave it for today's show we're approaching uh 90 minutes so I hope you enjoyed and uh, don't forget, you know, three or four weeks time, I'll be put in part two of this 15 years of EML subgeneration and lazy uh, podcast. So much more to come. So just stay tuned and keep listening. Have a great time, everyone. Stay safe.